Hello and welcome to Avio's Journey. In this video, I'm going to give you three ways to know if you are ready to raise your rates. Let's do it. I get asked this question an awful lot, and that is, hey, Anthony, when do I raise my rates? How do I know when the right time is for me to raise my voiceover rates? First off, I think it's good to mention when you are first starting, your rates might look different than people's rates who've been around for a long time. And if you think logically, that probably makes a lot of sense, right? I say, hold on. I say, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm just starting out. I'm trying to get people to get to know who I am. I'm trying to work on getting better at, at my craft, equipment, etc. So why would I be charging the same amount as someone who's been around for 10, 15, 20 years and has done thousands and tens of thousands of voiceovers, etc., etc.? Right? So it makes sense. So in this video, I want to tell you three different ways that I believe you could use to, I guess, benchmark, if you will, the time it takes to raise your rates. Now, you might be feeling like, I'm just so confused. Should I start really high? Should I start really low? Where do I start? Take a turn. They keep ringing my phone. I don't know what to do. The best place to start, all right, is going to be whatever area you are in. Like if you're doing promos, if you're doing audiobook work, if you're doing commercial work, if you're doing character work, each each part of or each piece of those genre, they have specified prices. There are guides out there. There's one on a VO's journey. There's one on the GVAA rate guide. There's one on the gravy for the brain. I, I do feel that the gravy for the brain and the GVA rate guide, they're good, but they're, they are definitely high and they don't necessarily take into account what it's like for a beginner, intermediate, and then an advanced. But let's go ahead and dive into these three steps. Step number one, to know if it is time for you to raise your rates. Get on with it! And that is set a benchmark number of orders that you have completed. Basically, I mean, let's take 100. I like the, I like 100 because that's quite a bit of voiceovers, but at the same time, it's a great number to say, listen, I have quite a bit of experience. I've done at least over, I've done at least 100 voiceovers. And if you've done 100 voiceovers, you have been through the mud, you have worked with clients, you have had to do revisions, you have had to do all sorts of different work with your equipment, you have a good amount of experience. So I like this, I set it at 100, you could set it at 50 or 200, whatever number it is, but set a number that when you hit that number, you're gonna raise your rates. And you could even arbitrarily set a number as you go on, but that's a good way to look at it. Set a specific number to help you know when it's time. Step number two, I think that Sometimes I honestly feel like this. Just like any other business, when you go ahead and buy new equipment, a new microphone, a new, new monitors, a new computer, you build out a new studio in your home and you know you spend this money, you take out a loan, you do whatever you do, you buy a whisper room, you buy an uh, studio bricks, excuse me, and you, you, you do all this stuff, you get new, you know you get new treatment, new desk, new interface, anything that you do software, when you are upgrading your equipment, after you have been in that initial phase of working with other equipment, it is a great time to raise your rates. And I often use it as a way to let my clients know and for me to reach out to them and say, hey, listen, they're really excited. We just upgraded our studio, did X, Y, Z. You know, I wanted to reach out to you and let you know because that means, you know, I'm going to be bringing even better quality audio to your videos or your, your voiceovers. So this is another great time for you to raise your rates when you have upgraded your stuff. The third thing, and oh, by the way, make sure you stay. There's a bonus right after this. It's a, it's a method of pricing. I'm going to tell you there's a bonus right after the third one. So don't go. Wait till the end. The third way, all right, is you are so busy. I mean, you're so stinking busy that you can't even have time to get more than two hours of sleep a night. Mm -hmm. 
it is time to raise your rates. It is supply and demand at its purest form. Now, here's something really important and, and, and pay attention on this one. You might be working a full-time job. And if you're working a full-time job, you might only be able to put two hours or an hour or 30 minutes or four hours or whatever to your voiceover business. I think logically to me, well, Anthony, if I'm only working two hours and I'm swamped those two hours, I have no time to do anything else. Is that considered supply and demand issue? Like, I, yes, it is. It is. You are swamped for the two hours that you have to work. So it's time to raise your rates. Just can't do it, Captain. I do it. I think what I happen, I see a lot of people is they start at a lower rate because they're just starting. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's your rates are never meant. And I, I should say this more often and I don't. Your rates should never be meant to stay at a lower level after you have these experiences and gone through these steps. So it's time to raise it. Even if you only have two hours and you're swamped time for bonus, you stuck around with me for the bonus. I'm very excited. Thank you so much for sticking around for the bonus. The bonus, I like to call it the hotel pricing method. <laughs> what does that mean? Peeing your pants is cool. Consider me Miles Davis. Let's say you raise your rates. You're like, Anthony told me to raise my rates, so I raised my rates. You raised your rates. I'm a little crazy today because I've had a bunch of coffee. <sighs> You've raised your rates. All of a sudden, Things are going really fantastic. They're going great. But then something happens. You don't get any work. Work starts to trickle. In the hotel pricing method or model, if you will, the idea, think about it with hotels. What do they do with their pricing? During busy times of the year, their pricing goes up. During times of the year when there's not a lot of people staying at their hotels, their pricing goes down. Why? Because they are trying to make sure that no matter what happens, money keeps flowing into their business. This is everything. You are the CEO, the person who is responsible to make sure money is coming into your business. No one, el no one else's business, your business. So during times when you have no work, you know, don't, Shoot yourself in the foot by not accepting work when you don't have any. One job does not dictate what you will do down the road. But this pricing method, this hotel pricing method, allows you to be more flexible with your pricing so that when you don't have work coming in and you get a job, you have the ability to get work so that money always comes in. All right, I really hope that this helped you in knowing when the right time to raise your rates are. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. And please leave a comment below. Let me know when you, when, when what, what was it that spurred you on to raise your rates? I'm really interested in that. And I'd love for you to comment below. All right, guys, bye-bye, bye-bye.